Okay, we're going to get ready to split cases on our KX250, and this is a 2001, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, 2001. Okay, so guys, why don't you tell us what we need to do to uh, be successful in this? First of all, you start out by uh, looking at the manual and figuring out what two holes you're supposed to go into to help keep it level and stuff. So you yeah. found that information there? Yep, okay. in the manual. What did we do to protect our crankshaft a little more? We put the bolt on backwards so it doesn't mush them out. Yeah, so we've got that to strengthen that up so it doesn't split. You can see the tool's not touching it, right? Yep. Okay, well, that looks really good. Um, there's something else that a lot of people get into trouble on these, and George, you've uh, already got it taken off. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we kind of got this part out of here. What is this thing called? Uh, it's just the spacer for the sprocket. Yeah, the spacer for the sprocket, and there's an O-ring that's in there that we take out with this little pick right here. If you go in and push this in, you kind of walk it out like that. Basically, and we had a you, you really made note that you wanted to point that a certain direction, right? Yeah, I'll go ahead and just kind of lightly set it on here right now So that is all the way down inside this case here up against the bearing, right? Yep. So what direction did you need the pointer? You need to point into the groove in because if we had it out What would we ruin as we come up? The, seal. Seal. the oil seal, right? Yep. Okay, so they went ahead and they pulled this off and then the, the spacer itself is directional. And what did you notice about that spacer? It's got a groove in here for the O-ring. Okay. So when we look in here, when this is fully assembled down there, that, that it pushes that O-ring down to help seal the oil to not come past these splines. If you were to try and put that on backwards, you'd just smash it. Okay, so this is a directional part. And like we said, a lot of people forget that, don't they? Yeah. Okay, so we've also, you do something with your finger. Mason, you want to take that one? You run around the outside edge and make sure you see that all the fasteners are out and then look for any problems with the gas or anything like that. Right on. Okay, so what we do, we talk about that. We call that imaginary line. So we go through. Now, we flip the motor. We've done both sides. We feel confident that all the fasteners are out and that we're ready to go. This tool is a, a three or two. We're going to go ahead and just use the two. So we'll talk about the next step. Um, we had to put some pressure on Go ahead and do it. Okay, that's enough. And what's the next step? And then you take the hammer and you make sure to look for the thicker parts of the case to hit on. You kind of do a little whack everywhere. We can rotate this around to keep doing so. Oh, yeah, hear that sound? Yeah. We're going to work together to do that now. So, George, you'll. Uh, what's the place that we talk about in class sticks the most? That swing arm pivot, it really sticks back there. And since we're only pulling right here, a couple things we can do is take our mallet and tap on our shaft lightly, and we're going to tap back here. So, let's go ahead and see. And I'm going to get down at eye level. That's really important, we said too, right? Yep. Go ahead. Okay, I can see we're starting to get a gap here. It's looking good, but we're still really sticking back here. Go ahead. Okay, it just looks like we're about starting to go here. So let's, uh, let's kind of tap right here a little more. There we go. Now, do you see how the success was lifting it up so that the, the shaft could actually push the other case? Yeah. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to, I want you to get down at this level, okay? You're going to turn, you let go here, and you're going to, you're going to lift. I'll kind of support the bottom one. Go ahead. And it's smooth turns. Don't ratchet. And so nice and even. Nice and even. You got it. Push down that. It's coming up beautiful. Keep on going. Okay. So the stop, the only negative to the way we do it is it forces us to have to stop and then get that nut off there. Because if, if we try to keep going, what would we end up ruining? Yeah. That, right? You'd ruin that crank seal, right? Okay. So that is how you do a 2001 KX250. Will this be the same procedure on a lot of other cowies? Yep. Okay. Good stuff.